This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. In order to join a home group, our Windows Firewall profile needs to be set at private. There are a couple different ways we can check to see where it's at right now. If I go to my Start menu, type in Windows Firewall with Advanced Security or just Windows Firewall, either one. We can see my public profile is active, so we need this private profile to be the active profile. We can also check to see where it's at by right-clicking, going to the control panel, going to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, and I can see my network is set at public network. So to change it, the first way we can do it is type in home group. We can also get there from the control panel. It says to create or join a home group, your computer's network location must be set to private. We can just click on change the network location. It says do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? Basically if we click yes, it's going to change our network profile, our firewall profile to private. If we click no, it's going to change it to public. So I'll click yes. And now we can actually go back to our firewall, right click, refresh, and we can see it switched to private. So another way we can change the profile here is if we go to settings, click on network and internet. Now if we're using a wired connection, we can click on ethernet and then click on our ethernet connection and it says make this PC discoverable so this is going to be the same setting here if we toggle it off that's going to set the profile to public if we toggle it on it's going to set it to private so we can actually go back here and refresh and see it's now back to public now I'm going to go over to a Windows 10 machine with a Wi-Fi connection let's go to settings here go to network and internet and you can see I've got Wi-Fi up here if I go down to Ethernet, I don't have a hardwired Ethernet connection, so I'm using Wi-Fi. And we may be able to change it if we scroll down and go to Advanced Options. We may see the option here to set the if this PC is discoverable. But if not, and we're trying to set it from public to private, we can still go to that Home Group setting here. And mine is currently set to private, but if it was public, it would let me switch it here. Or that brings us to the third option is using our local security policy. So I'll just go ahead and type in local security policy and launch that. Click on network list manager policies. And I can see my Wi-Fi connection here. I'm connected to this, the house-2G Wi-Fi network. If I double click on it, go to network location. Here I can set it to either private or public. And finally, the fourth option is going to be to use Windows PowerShell. And if we can remember the command, this is probably actually going to be the easiest. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Start button here. Type in PowerShell. Right-click on it. Run it as administrator. And I'm going to type in get-net-connection-profile. And hit Enter. So here's my Wi-Fi connection here, and we can see the network category is private. So this is what your firewall profile is set at. If I want to change it, I'm going to use the set-net connection profile commandlet. And I'm going to type in minus name, the name of the network connection that we're trying to change here. So I'm going to change the house-2G minus network category, and this is where I'm going to put what I want to change it to. So right now it's private. So I'll change it to public. Hit enter. And let's do the get net, net connection profile again. And we can see it's changed to public. We can actually open up our Windows firewall with advanced security and see that it's public. So if I want to change it to private, run that same command, but make it private. And we can go back and just refresh here and see that it's changed. And you notice I have two network connections here. I have this one and this one. This is my Wi-Fi. This is one I have for a, a Windows Phone emulator. But each network connection is going to be using its own firewall setting. So this is important to know. If I'm I've connected to two different networks, one can be using the public network profile and the other one can be using the private one. As we'll see, 
you can see private and public and we also see that here because both of these are active and we don't have to change all of them just the one that's connected to the network that we want to use to join to the home group